Hello everyone, welcome back to my math channel. In this video, I will answer your question number 9 from Pearson and Excel A level exam for Pure Math 4. This exam is taken in May June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA14 slash 01. The curve C shown in figure 3 has equation y equals to x to the power minus 1 over 4 divided by 1 plus x square root. This is 10 inverse square root of x. The region R shown shaded in figure 3 is bounded by C, the line with equation x equals to 3, and the x axis and the line with equation x equals to 1 over 3. The region R is rotated through 360 degrees about x axis to form a solid. Using the substitution tan u equals to x square root, show that the volume of the solid formed is given by k integral a to b 1 over u square du where k, a and b are constants to be found. Look at the figure. This uh, shadow region is bounded by curve and equation of line x equals to 1 over 3 and equation of line x equals to 3 and x axis. Once it is rotated about x axis, x axis to 360 degrees, a solid, solid is formed. A solid is formed. We could find the volume of that solid by using this formula. You have to memorize this formula. Phi, phi y square d dx and limit is given from A to B. This is the standard formula to find the volume of the solid once the graph is uh, rotated about x axis. This is the formula. K limit is given 1 over 3 to 3. So A is 1 over 3 and uh, B is 3. So limit is given there. Y is given. Just substitute, substitute the value of Y in this formula. We will get the volume. And later on we will substitute uh, tan u uh, x square root with tan u to convert our answer to in form of uh, in this form. Got it? First, let us start with this formula. Let me write the formula here. Volume is equals to pi y square dx. And limit is given there. That is 1 over 3 to 3. Now, substitute the value of y. Limit is 1 to 3. And here is 3. x to the power minus 1 over 4 divided by square root of 1 plus x and uh, tan inverse square root of x and whole square because it is y square so write y value of y there and take square of this value dx in the next step you need to simplify it so volume in terms of x will be given as pi limit is given from 1 to 3 to 1 1 over 3 to 3 this square will become the power of each number under the power, okay? Like this 2 will cancel this 4. So, in the numerator, it will be x to the power minus 1 over 2 divided by and uh, this power becomes the power of this one because square of the square root, it will be cancelled out. Square is cancelled with square root, so it left with only 1 plus x here. And the other value is tan inverse square root of x and take square of this value, dx. Limit is given for this function as from 1 to 3, 1 over 3 to 3, that's it. Now here in this question he gave us a hint here, we need to substitute this value. We need to substitute square root of x as tan u. Let's substitute that value, substitute tan u is equals to square root of x means x power 1 over 2. We need to differentiate this function with respect to x. If you differentiate tan with respect to x is secant square because tan derivative is secant square. Here angle derivative you have to write it again. Tan derivative is tan, tan derivative is secant square u, but angle is other than x value, therefore you have to multiply by the derivative of this angle. Angle derivative will be du by dx. And here derivative of 1 uh, x to the power 1 over 2 power comes here and we reduce the power by 1 so it becomes minus 1 over 2 that's it and you can move this value there and uh, also you can bring 2 to left hand side so it will be 2 secant square 2 secant square u du is equals to x to the power minus 1 over 2 dx actually why intentionally I brought, I brought this value to there because uh, I, I can see from the above equation that this value containing x to the power minus 1 over 2 and dx. So you can replace uh, by this value to that value. That's it. 
this value is equals to 2 secant square u d2. Now you need to find the value of x as well. Here we could we have value of x to the power 1 over 2. From here you can get the value of x. x square root is equal to 10 u implies that if you take square of both sides, 10, 10 square u will be equals to x because to get rid of square root you can get the value of you could get the value of x from here. So substitute these values in above equation that is it. But the problem is here this limit is given for values of x. Now everything will be in terms of uh, u therefore you have to uh, get the limit for u as well. To get the limit for u we should use uh, this equation. Let me write here 10 u is equals to x square root when value of x is the lower limit that is equals to 1 over 3 substitute over there here so 10 u will be equals to square root 1 over 3 you know once you plug in here you get this answer implies that value of u will be equals to you can take inverse of this value 10 inverse 1 over square root 3 will give you the answer for 40 make sure your calculator should be in radian mode answer is the 1 over 6 pi now you need to substitute the other value for x, for x that is equals to x equals to 3 implies that you can get the value of u from here and u will be equals to square root 3 implies that value of u will be 10 inverse square root 3 u will be 1 over 3 pi so these are the this is the limit for u got it now you need to substitute all these values in above equation. Now limit is changed from 1 over 3 to 3 uh, is becomes now 1 over 6 pi and 1 over 3 pi. This is the lower limit and this is the upper limit. And volume will be pi is outside and uh, lower limit is uh, 1 over 6 pi and upper limit is 1 over 3 pi and uh, I already told you this value x to the power minus 1 over 2 dx could be replaced by by this answer yeah, by this answer 2 secant square u du so in the numerator it is 2 secant square u du and in denominator here 1 plus value of x that is tan square u so we can write as 1 plus tan square u into there is a 10 inverse square root of x value is 10 u you know square root of x value is 10 u here is 10 inverse coming so there is x square root so for x square root you can use here 10 u and whole square you know this 10 and 10 inverse can be cancelled with each other so it left with u only now you can simplify this one pi and here is 1 over 6 pi and uh, 1 over 3 pi in the numerator it is 2 secant square u over 1 plus tan square u is also equals to secant square u you have to memorize this formula as well and this is only u square du here i am writing for you the formula for secant square x is always equals to 1 plus tan square x i am using this formula in the next step we can take this 2 to the outside of the integral so volume will be equals to 2 pi, lower limit is 1 over 6 pi, upper limit is 1 over 3 pi, 1 over u square du. This is 1 over u square, u, secant square u, secant square u is cancelled, so I left with this one. Let us go back to the question. Yes, here we got the same result by the way and you need to write the values of k, a and b. From here, we can write the values for k. k will be equal to 2 pi and this value is a 1 over 6 pi and b is equals to 1 over 3 pi. So this is the first part. First part is done for this question number 9. For the next part, let us go back to the question. Hence, using algebraic integration, find the value of v in simplest form. Uh, volume 
obtained in the previous part is 2 pi limit was uh, 1 over 6 pi to 1 over 3 pi and here is 1 over u square d u. So this is the limit and uh, we can we will continue solving this one we can integrate this one with respect to u. So you have to move this uh, value in the numerator because power is positive so it becomes negative. 2 pi and limit is uh, 1 over 6 pi and 1 over 3 pi it will be u power minus 2 du. There is an integration formula, the first formula power rule x to the power n dx. We increase the power by 1 and divide by the same power. This is the formula that we can use here. Plus c. Now it is definite integral so there will be no c. Solving this one we get the result. 2 pi is outside, keep it out and here get the answer for u to the power minus 2. We increase the power by 1 so it will be u to the power minus 1 dividing by the same power. And here we will apply the limit 1 over 3 pi and uh, 1 over 6 pi. This minus you can keep it outside of the bracket. So it will be minus 2 pi and uh, you can move this value down so it will be 1 over u. It is 1 over 3 pi and uh, 1 over 6 pi. Apply the upper, upper limit inside the bracket. First we will apply the upper limit. What is the upper limit here? That is 1 over 1 over 3 pi minus of formula then 1 over 1 over 6 pi. How to solve this fraction? Let me show you here. 1 divided by 1 over 3 pi means 1 multiplied 3 over pi. Got it? So answer will be 3 over pi for this. Minus 2 pi inside the bracket we can write as 3 over pi minus same way it will be 6 over pi. Denominator is the same so you can subtract the numerators answer inside the bracket will be 3 minus 6 will be minus 3 and denominator is pi here so it is minus 3 over pi this pi is cancelled out minus 3 multiply minus 2 will be, give you the answer 6 so this is the exact volume for this question that's all it second part is done if you have any question please write in the comment box thank you